Hello, 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 teacher entrepreneurs. Today we're talking all things caption. Welcome to the channel. I'm Coach Chris, co founder of Create and Funnel, where we help teachers go from not charging enough in their lessons or being binded to a company and their rules all the way to gaining their financial freedom and the ability to teach the way you want to. Coach King and I have been where you are, struggling with content creation, doubting your abilities, and wondering if you could ever start your own teaching business. But guess what, teacher entrepreneur? We did it, and so can you. Having your brand and face out there on social media is essential to let your star student know that you're out there. Chinese social media apps like Sha Hongshu or Little Red Book let foreigners into the Chinese world and make sure that we get that visibility. Now, we need to make sure that our content is optimized for the Chinese speaking user. So maybe you're trying to create content for Chinese social media, but finding it tough or it takes too much time to translate your captions and subtitles. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> but there's good news. There's a tool that can help with all of this, and it's inside of the video editing software CapCut. We recommend here in Create and Funnel. It's what we use for most of our videos. Now, feature inside of CapCut called auto captioning. And now they've just launched a game changing feature, and that is bilingual auto caption. So this feature can automatically generate a second set of captions in another language, like Chinese. So you can imagine the possibilities. Now you can reach more students, enhance your viewer engagement, and truly connect with your audience. Let's dive in. First, you want to open up CapCut and upload your video. Then you want to start a new project and upload any of the videos that um, you want in your project. Here, I did a quick recording of myself introducing my puppet and asking my student, how old are they? So after you edit, cut, trim, and make sure that your video is seamless in terms of taking out pauses, making sure that the, the transition is quick and easy, and that you are hooking your audience at the very beginning. Um, you want to go to text here at the bottom, and you'll see um, an array of options at the bottom. And of course, you want to go to auto captions. You can pick from what sound source you're, you're wanting it from. You can go from all, uh, voiceover if you do a voiceover, et cetera. Make the text come out as you speak, for example. And of course, with the other pro features, you can pick different animations. Now, the new feature that we want to test out is the bilingual subtitles. So you can get a secondary set of subtitles and captions um, that go in line with the uh, caption. So what I want us to test is to actually look at um, Spanish first. I'm a native Spanish speaker, so let's see how good this is. As you can see, though, it is a pro feature. So if you're deciding that this will save time for your video editing and you're consistently posting, then I definitely recommend this upgrade. So let's go here. You can see all the languages available at the moment. Let's look at Spanish. And I want to click on Start. And you can see that it automatically creates all of the captions little by little. And so as you can see, you have one and two, two sets of captions. I said, hello, Daisha Hao. <laughs> Today, I want you to meet a special friend. Come here. Um, in Spanish, let's see. OK, cool. I like that one. Um, hello, soy, el, soy yo el pingüino. <laughs> and here, how old are you? I'm five años tienes. Very good. I like this. I like this. So far, the translation is reliable. Here, you want to click on this and move it up, for example. How old are you? Let me know in the comments. Déjame. So you have to edit a little bit. But yeah, déjame saber en los comentarios. From the Spanish point of view and the translation that it offered me, it seems to be a very, it seems to be a good translation. So let's go and now try with, so you can undo. And you want to go back to auto captions. You want to go to Chinese. And it should create both the English version of this and the Chinese sub translation. OK, cool. I don't know Chinese, so I can't see if these uh, work out. Um, but let's see here. We can click on Edit, copy this, and we can actually go to Google Translate. So I'm going to enter the text here, paste. 
Joe, how old are you? I am five. Yeah, cool. So it seems to be pretty reliable. Of course, this new feature is part of the pro features of CapCut. And so that means you do have to pay in to the app, but you can test it out like just like I did before making that investment. So you want to click on pro, it won't let you export it. It'll pop you up the paywall. So you want to join CapCut Pro and you have the different options here. If you want to try it out for a month, then this will be the best option. I think this is a game changer. It'll help us with our content in the best way. All right, now that you've got the basics down, let's talk about some best practices. Remember always to review your captions for accuracy. Just like I see some errors, I would have to go in and do that. And don't be afraid to get creative with your text. You can highlight key points, add emojis, and play around with animations that I showed you at the beginning. The goal is to make your captions effective and engaging, of course. So um, you can look, let's look at some of the ways that I would style this. So here I would click on style, for example, click on a color that shows more. I personally like to use bangers. You can, of course, input your own font or a different font. And then um, here I would like, I would go and search for the Chinese character. Hello, Dai uh, Hao. Um, it's teacher Chris. Okay. Oh, awesome. So you can update the secondary subtitle when you're editing. So update and it automatically updates that for you. And you can also add animation. So let me show you here. You can animate this with, if you have the pro, then you can choose all these awesome animations. If not, you can do a little typewriter effect like this. So then when you play it, Hello, teacher Chris. <laughs> so this might seem like a lot of work at first, but remember every expert was once a beginner. Don't let this hold you back. I took a long time at the beginning to fix my captions and go through the processes, but with more videos that I created and more practice that you do, you just get quicker at it because you just get better at it and practice does make perfect at the end of the day. So it takes these imperfect trials and creating the content that make you get better and better. You've got this, Futurepreneur. I can't wait to see how you use this feature to reach more students and grow your teaching business. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow teacher entrepreneurs and subscribe to our channel. We've got a ton of resources coming up to help you on your journey for financial independent freedom.